Hey everybody! Hi! Welcome back. This is like one of the only times- I was just telling Dennis actually. This is like one of the only times in the game where you hear a song that's not- Dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun. Like seriously, this game does not have- This is not a Sonic game, ladies and gentlemen. It, it does not have an extensive, incredible soundtrack. Maybe that's the reason why I'm not speaking too much, because I'm not shit-talking on this game. <laughs> I would- you know, I- that- that did cross my mind once or twice. It wasn't just that, but we already, like, told us, told each other a bunch of jokes in the car. Yeah. And we lost a little bit of steam because of it. Yeah. And that's why I knew that when you're meeting with friends, like, you don't, you don't say shit until you start recording. That's how that works. Right. But I didn't do it. And I oh. fucked it up. So, it's uh. honestly, it's my fault. I apologize. Let's just grab Mario's letter. I wonder what it says. You found Mario's letter. I wonder what it says. You literally can't read it yourself, either. You have to, like, have Madame Clairvoya read it for you. Because Luigi's illiterate or something. It probably explains how he, like, thought he won a contest <laughs> <laughs> that he didn't fucking enter. <laughs> so, that would explain it. Oh my god, yeah. Apparently he's just a moron. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, granted, he is the younger brother, isn't he? That doesn't necessarily mean stupider. He's just shyer and, like, doesn't, like, show too much of himself because his brother is a fucking superhero. The so... Mario has gotten scared, too. Like... There was plenty of games where I've seen, like, he is yeah, he, terrified, he, but, like, you know, he does he does get scared. Every now and again, he gets yeah. a little startled. That's just him doing what he does. Yeah. I wonder where Mario is. Oh, look, he's in here. <laughs> Way to lead into that, David. This actually reminds me, there's, like, a fan theory of this game. There's, like, a part of this game where Luigi's in, like, the telephone room. Yeah. And if lightning flashes on the wall while you're in the telephone room, the shadow casts on the wall, and the shadow looks like Luigi is hanging himself. That's just the way the shadow looks, and gamers thought that was an easter egg and stuff, so they theorized that Luigi is already dead, and that he's in, like, purgatory, and this is just a spirit- Finding Mario is, like, just, like, some sort of spiritual journey for him. Oh my god. Yeah, some- there's some game theory bullshit, isn't it? That's some, like, tinfoil no. crap. I know, right? the shadow, like, of Luigi hanging himself, that was just a glitch. It's just based on, like, they're not- it's just based on the game thinking that there's a wall in a spot where there isn't a wall. So, uh -huh. and so it just led gamers to think that there was just a paranormal thing. Of like Luigi hanging himself on the wall. That's a that's a reasonable thing to think because there's no reason of then there's no visible reason that that shadow would be there. So they would just think like, oh god, that's actually really creepy and like paranormal. But that's not what it was. It was just a glitch. Like it was just legit confirmed a glitch. Hi Toad. Why are you hiding? I was taking a shit. <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> Alright, yes, Wait. I'll find Mario's stuff. So, you found his hat. His letter. What else do you need then? His glove. His shoe. Which he has in the fucking painting. <laughs> his shoe. Oh, and yeah. his star. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna lift it. Oh. I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> oh. Arnold. Who is this little green man? Oh my god, my Arnold. Punch my you. Arnold is so garbage. I'm going to punch you in the fucking pitch. Get to the chopper! Get to the chopper! Oh, uh, they got. Uh, oh, oh, punching bag! My only weakness! Wow, <laughs> 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 oh, steroid rage! Fuck! I oh. have a tiny ghost penis! <laughs> oh, okay, I'm definitely gonna need water after this one. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Why do we even have a rec room? Who uses this beside this guy? Yeah, that's a good point. Everyone seemed very, like, unathletic. Who we, like, yeah, all the other point. ghosts? But this guy. Yeah, right? This guy is swole. He wants, he wants to be different. Yo, this guy wants to be Diesel. I have a good feeling, though, like, all these ghosts who were here probably were fairly wealthy. And they probably were, like, a family. Like, that's probably where the money comes from? Yeah. Maybe? The, yeah. I'm pretty sure most of- Oh my god, the blue ghost! No! No! Shit, the blue ghost! Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? What about- What about- What the fuck? You get this treasure! I didn't even what? know there was a blue ghost in this room! You wait, 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 wait for him, wait for him! Fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, he's gone. He's literally gone. Like, once a blue ghost is gone, you can't get it back for the rest oh. of the game. Shit. Man. That's unfortunate. I mean, dude, I started, like, sucking- He- He appeared while I was sucking up Arnold. So, like, sucking up Arnold. So, honestly, there was nothing I could do to catch him. 
I mean, I could have tried, but like, <laughs> there was, I was trying, but like, I mean, it was, it was, a, it was a bad situation. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Now time to get the boo. Mm hmm In that pedal machine. All right, but yeah, the family, if they could afford to like build this mansion out of nothing, they probably were rich. Yeah, they had to be. Yeah. Maybe that's why Egad wanted to catch, capture them or something to get their money? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, like, Egad just, like, created a shack outside their house <laughs> and just hid out there for years waiting for them to, like, die out. I'm pretty sure Egad, like, lived in that shack beforehand. Yeah, really. Like, he, like, Shit. brought food into there, set up his own toilet system, right. literally just, like, made it his own home for, like, years. <laughs> yeah. Until, like, the fucking, uh... You know, the ghosts, like, all died out. Yeah. What do we do? I used a mirror. Oh. If you, like, do the search thing on a mirror, send oh. you send you back to the start. Oh, the really? Mansion. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I did that because the boo went somewhere. He went to the left through the rec room, so I don't exactly know where he is. I'm probably wasting time just going around these back rooms just trying to capture this one boo, but I want to catch them all, man. I'm playing Pokemon Go. I got my Game Boy in my hand, if you can't tell. I'm ready. I'm going. <laughs> I want to... I want to... I need to catch them all, fam. Have you actually played the game? I got it because of peer pressure. But I deleted it because what? I don't play it. Because people, like, did, <laughs> did your friends, like, were like, Yo, man, whoever doesn't play Pokemon goes and We were it. all just walking around and they were playing it and stuff, and here he is. Yep. Same boo. Stop looking at me! I'm so good at finding... <laughs> I'm so good at finding boos. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> God, you got so, like, dead quiet for a second. Because I, like, I thought I was going to lose him again. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just shut up. What? Like you? You even you admitted it yourself. All right. Well, you know you can you, you can shut up though. Yeah. God. Yeah. God. You fucking asshole. Fucking freaking freaking piece of shit. Fucker. You're gonna you're gonna go somewhere with that? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Back through the rec room. All but right. yeah, if you uh, if you uh take a selfie like a ratchet hoe, you uh, you can you literally teleport right back to the start. Oh, okay. It's just a way to like get back to spawn really quickly, okay. and it's really helpful during the blackout. Uh, there's a part of this game where like there's a blackout, lightning strikes the mansion, uh -huh. so like all the lights go out and there are just ghosts everywhere. And uh, if you go, there's a mirror that you can go to. Ironically enough, from what I've seen, it doesn't look it doesn't look like this house even runs on electricity. It's got lights. But I've seen more candles than anything. Right. Oh, I'm on the ceiling. I, I, what the... Can I cap, can I capture this ghost upside down? Come on, catch him, catch him, man. He's a rare ghost. I, I, I don't think I can. All right, whatever. I can't, I can't. What the... Dude, that's it. Dude, 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 yes! Get him, I got you, rich. I think I glitched myself for a second. That was awkward. Oh, is this where you get the ice? Yes. This is where you get the ice element. Oh, wow. It was kind of, yeah, I guess it was like a little ways off. Just think, at this part of the game Grumps Let's Play, they were still like... Didn't they stop playing? Like, they did, because they got so much backlash, because Aaron was so bad. They were so bad at Luigi's Mansion, the two of them. He even said it, hey man, I'm not like any professional or anything. Which yeah. I can understand. No, but he was really messing up on some easy crap. Or at least stuff that maybe we knew, but it felt like he was just missing out on so many oblivious things. I don't know what it was. Do you remember his fire red? Playthrough. That they just finished it. Yeah, actually. I know. Like, <laughs> did you remember this fucking Beedrill that he had like throughout like the entire playthrough? Yeah. Um, apparently, the person that they uh, gave the game to for them to like for her to like grind for them. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking Beedrill went from like level fifty something to like level eighty six. And really? he used the bee drill to like blaze through the elite four. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my. Half the time though, like you really don't know when Aaron is serious. <laughs> yeah. Like you really don't know. The man is nothing but a character. Yeah. He is. Really. He is. He is so talented. No, he is. He's yeah, remarkably sure. talented. He is. But people are just gonna call him out for like the one thing he's bad at, and that is Which video is games. <laughs> yeah, like he made a whole show cri criticizing video games while he sucks at video games. 
yeah, yeah, it happens. I mean, that's not supposed to be a jab at him. I'm just saying, like, that's probably what people think. Like, yeah. his whole, like, sequelitis on Legend of Zelda. Oh, the shitstorm that that brought. Yeah. Oh, God. You know, but he had valid opinions, <laughs> I like to say. Like, I still think Ocarina of Time is a great game. But it honestly isn't the greatest game. Maybe it was when it first came out, because, like, you know, that was the first time, like, a 3D adventure like that was ever, like, attempted. Yeah. Like, he's, maybe he's just saying it didn't age well, or something. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, yeah, something. Because, like, it really doesn't matter in the end. Like, you know, he's, like, he's no, like, a gaming, like, aficionado or anything. Like, he's just some dude who makes videos. Like, his opinions matter, like, so little. And really, no, I'm being serious. Like, it doesn't matter. Think what you want to think. But don't, don't like, fucking crucify the guy for having an opinion. Yeah, yeah, you, they don't need to do that. Alright, hold up. What's I mean, in here? I mean, Aaron says stupid things all the time. Like, is it really that bad if he has, like, an actual professional opinion about it? I mean, I say professional loosely, but, you know. Uh, uh well, mm. Uh, yeah, you're right. He's just people. Uh, it's just people on the internet, man. They suddenly grow balls when they're on the internet. Yes. Like I recently, like I actually got like fucking roasted on Twitter by like this uh, guy in the uh, this like guy in like the Smash community or uh -huh. some community that he's from, some top commentator because I commentated a timeout and like a timeout is like when you just camp somebody out in Smash Brothers and I just tried to make it entertaining and not have it be dead air, okay. like by just like trying to like just talk about funny stuff and making jokes and stuff yeah. and so was the other commentator he was doing it too and we were having fun but like i got really scrutinized for it in the community because it wasn't like esports enough or like professional enough and i understand that that's their tourney that's what they want like i have to respect like the kind of commentary they want yeah but uh yeah i just said like because the guy who like said i wasn't doing like commentary well he was kind of blunt about it because he's just a blunt guy and i didn't know him too much and he's like a figure in the community uh -huh. and i just thought he was kind of rude about it personally and all i said is just like oh like i just wanted to be treated fairly and that was just such a fucking foreign concept to this guy and he just told me over without even watching the vod like he just told me over and over that like i'm garbage and that i have to quit the scene and stuff and, oh, uh, him, frankly, I just, I told him to go fuck himself and that nobody is gonna make me stop doing something that I love. No, yes, no yes. asshole on the internet. And he was, like, talking so incredibly about himself, too. Like, I was a fucking smite commentator for 12 years, and I'm like, that's fantastic, dude. I respect you as a human being now. Just kidding, no. At all. I don't, but, like, that guy was... That guy was something else. That guy was a perrick. Oh, please. Oh, oh dude, know. his ego is probably the size of, like, the fucking Empire State, though. Like, yeah. Like, go on. in there... Oh, he went in here. Fuck, the then, ghost yeah, went in here. Go, go down the corridor again. Uh, he's wait, probably down in one of those. Oh, oh, he's right in the... I'm act We're actually about to go there anyway, so that's good. Oh, where? Uh, back to the second floor. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Then. Yeah. Uh, did I get the treasure chest? No, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know. Alright, so let's just... Oh, no, I did oh, no. get the oh. treasure chest. Never mind. And there's no boo in here, obviously, because the boo that was in here... Oh, money! The, the, the meter... The me it's just like a ball or like one of the boo balls or like a bomb or something like it that's that's definitely what it is hold up let me just yep oh. <laughs> yep all right well uh moral of this story is that really you never know where you're gonna wind up in life no matter what happens to you or no matter how low you are or how no matter how much crap people talk about you 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 are destined for something good you yeah. choose i think you choose your own destiny but no one's Nobody is destined to just fail. No, like, I, I truly believe that human beings as a whole are just meant to, like, persevere and do the things they love. And that's simply just because that's what we want to do. Because we want to be happy and do the things we love. So, frankly, I think we're meant for that just because that's what we want, you know? Just because we want to be happy. Like, I don't, like, don't let anybody else tell you to not be happy. And don't let anybody tell you to fucking quit doing something you love, ever. Yeah. Like, like, no matter how rude they are to you. Because you matter much more than them. Yeah, because those guys can go fuck themselves and jump off a bridge. Pretty much. Alright, uh, this has been, uh, Life Lessons with, uh, Nintunist and Dennis. Nintennis. Uh, gotta take another Ratchet Ho selfie. Even though I can't even see myself in the mirror. God, I want to take a Ratchet Ho- Now I'm too far, all I see is his hat! <laughs> is Luigi really that short? I guess, yeah. Going into hyperspace! <laughs> Alright, bye guys. Hey Toad, what's up? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>